So all I did was take a wet paper towel, hot water, dump the water out, rinse it out real well, wipe it down so it don't feel slimy, and then dried it out. I did that a few times and I ran water through the drain as well to make sure there's no allergy. So that's all I'm gonna to do to this is wipe the hose, dry the hose, and then do a little bit of wiping on the net pot as I put it back in to make sure there's no allergy build up there. <clears throat> so it's real simple. This bevels the uh, pushes out the edge of the hose a little bit, so it's a little bit difficult to get back in. So. And just make sure that thing's on the bottom, give it a little extra hose, and you're good to go. I put warm water back in here because I don't want to shock my well I'm not going to wipe this down because I don't want to hurt any of the roots yeah so I'm not going to do that so that's cleaned that back down and it's ready to go so now what I need to do is add in nutrients let me grab my new my TDS This is the major uh, totally dissolved solids, you, seven, eight bucks, maybe nine off Amazon. Open it, turn it on, hold it. <clears throat> Mine's the same every time, about 86 to 88. So we need to know that information. So that once we put our solution in, our nutrients, we'll know how, how much parts per million we have in there because I use less water this time so that I can use less nutrients to save on cost. Um, and what I gotta make sure though that this still barely touches the roots that's grown through and each time those roots get longer, eventually I'm gonna try to run it in just one gallon. I got about three in there now, three a little bit more. <clears throat> 